right now we are officially entering into Oklahoma. Y'all see it? Y'all see the sign? Oklahoma. Here go the sign. We just passed it. We've been driving since 3 p.m. Um, I can't flip the camera around. I don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show y'all some road. But yeah, I'm, I got about three hours of sleep thus far. I drove through five states. Now, uh, you know, my wife is taking over. So, you know, I'm, I'm relaxed. I'm cooling right now. Uh, for those who are watching this video for travel purposes. This, listen, let me say this. There's people watching this video for different reasons. If you've never seen any of my YouTube videos, I am Rashad Jamal. Because I do understand YouTube just run ads and they throw videos up. And, you know, you could just stumble across a video. So, there's people that, that know me for teaching on YouTube. So, this is, like, different for them. And then, I understand that by me traveling and I wanted to vlog it. I wanted to vlog this journey. Um that it was going to fall under, under the travel genre a little bit too so that's why I'm, I'm steady like talking almost to audiences right now so yeah those are the, those of you who are in the university you know exactly um what i mean look at the beautiful land but those who are watching as far as for travel purposes um the drive the drive has been great thus far it really hasn't been that bad like um i know the few videos that i did look up that we did look up i mean they made it seem like it was a lot harsher but right now it doesn't really seem that bad but we only in oklahoma too we just not getting oklahoma and i was just saying we was in arkansas for a long time so you know <laughs> i'm i don't want to i don't know if i'm speaking too soon we gonna find out because i'm gonna keep it real and raw than a motherfucker with y'all y'all already know if you know me and if you don't know me you're gonna get to know me all right not racist, I don't care if you white, black watching this. This is also for travel purposes, all right? So, to help those out who may be traveling or may be thinking about doing this journey, like I say, I feel like it's something that everybody should do once in a lifetime if you never do it again. Just to say you did it. Hey, I drove, I actually drove. Spend some time with the country, spend some time with nature, take in the views, take in nature. You don't see it every day. You probably ain't gonna never see it again because you fly everywhere, we're moving. You know, so technology has completely taken us away from the element of life, which is really self, the soul, and the spirit. So it's cool to to, to, to participate in technology, participate participate in this realm, but don't let this realm conquer you. Remember who you are. Traffic is getting worse. You are still on the fastest route. You will now arrive at seven twelve a.m. talking about y'all hear her she's talking about some traffic is getting worse you could have just said we you could have just said then she gonna try to clean it up talking about some you are still on the fastest route to arrive at seven you feel me like you could have just kept that series and just came with the hey you still on the fastest route like let us just bump into it like yeah like we don't need just let us flow into it like you don't do that that's like playing with the mind Cherokee Grand Hotel Casino and Hotel So I guess maybe if you come out here There's a casino you can stop it If you want to get off exit 325 I ain't fucking with it We don't do no gambling like we don't, None of that really no, None of that There you go right there Cherokee Casino guys If you think about gambling And you want to take this drive You get tired I guess if you want to come lose your money Then come lose your money Alright Cause I don't care how much money you win you ain't never going to beat the casino. You can't break the bank. But don't get me started. I don't want to, you know, gamblers. Okay, so. <clears throat> what to do, what to do. Um. Sit on the road right now I'm in Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City is beautiful out here right now. Very beautiful, clear skies. I see why it's a lot of tornadoes out here. It's super windy. Wind, motherfucker. 
But yeah, if you travel, we just stopped at ASAP General Store. I was wondering that. On the road, it's not no restaurant right here, really. At this exit, we got off at, so we had to settle for uh, some pizza, some pizza sticks. We had to settle for some pizza sticks. I don't know how that's gonna play out on my stomach. I don't really eat this every day, but you on the road, you get hungry, you got food and stuff to you know, you know how it go. In fact, you need something a little, a little Jeff Hardy, you know. Yeah, I just want to tap in with y'all. We're um, just now entering Texas. We just passed the sign. My other phone has died. We are now on camera number two, because I mean, the phone ain't died. But it's little, it's full, it's, it's overcharged. There you go, Texas travel. You see it? We just entered Texas, the great state of Texas. We're gonna be in this state about seven hours. I think, I believe, we're gonna be out here about seven hours. Three hours. All right, we're gonna be out about three hours. <laughs> yeah, y'all. We in Texas, man. Oklahoma was beautiful. A lot of flat lands. We in Texas. I'm really looking forward to Mexico. Um, I hope we don't run into no chainsaw massacre shit out here in Texas for these little three hours. I don't know what little towns we got to ride through. We going to fuck him up if we run into him. So he better not pop out on us. Grown family. This shit ain't going to go down nothing like the movie. You hear me? <laughs> this shit ain't going to go down nothing like the movie. But yeah, y'all, for those traveling, um... You know, it's, it's it's not a bad drive, man. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep real with y'all. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Reflection. Listen. Oh, there we go. Y'all see that? Y'all see that sign right there? Texas. There we go. Right there, Texas. We're in Texas. <laughs> We're in Texas. But look, right? Look, y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all, man. Now, leaving Alabama, what? I'm, I mean, leaving Atlanta was okay, nothing. Alabama was nothing. Um, Mississippi, Tennessee, nothing. You feel me? Now, Arkansas. Arkansas kind of laid some elbows on me. <laughs> Arkansas laid a few elbows, you know. Arkansas was like, okay. Arkansas was like, okay, you on a road trip. And then... <laughs> and I can't wait to go back to watch the whole thing, y'all. I promise y'all, because I'm, I'm keeping all this shit. I'm keeping it raw, keeping it real. You hear me? This is a real travel guide to how this shit go out here on this road. You see this shit, it's nothing. It will be you and, <laughs> you and nothing. <laughs> Forever, god damn it. Like, but now, uh, yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie though. When we got to Arkansas, I was like, okay. Shit, shit, shit a little real. And <laughs> <laughs> My wife making me laugh. I'm trying to get through it, y'all. Look, man. And then Oklahoma. Listen, you can't tell me we ain't just spent a whole day in Oklahoma. I promise this. <laughs> the sun is about to go down. We just. <laughs> The sun is about to go down, and we are just now getting to Texas. Reflection. Okay. So, but they got weather making towels all out here. They bitch ass. We ain't got no reception though, but they got that motherfucking weather making technology. Straight up. Phone and drop. My bill due today anyway, y'all. I thought it was my phone was off. I'm like, hold on, man. My shit was just on earlier. Like, who live right there, y'all? Like, them the type of questions you have to ask yourself. Like, who would want to live right there in that house? That means all this is his land. That's what that means. Even though it's not his land. Even 
even though it's not his land. This is land. Evans Farm. So look, yep, all this. Whoever owned that house, all y'all see all this fucking. That's all his shit. That's crazy. Probably even all this shit on the side of the highway too. Evans Farm. Whoever Evans is, goddamn it. He owned all this shit. Wonder how. I wonder how he got it though. The world may never know. That's like. That's like trying to find out how many legs does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. We never found out. They never told us. They stopped showing the commercials. But yeah, we just got the Texas, y'all. So, I'm going to update y'all by GPS. That's, what, that's us crossing into Texas. So, I'll talk to y'all in a minute. We'll see you soon. Peace. So, we have just officially entered New Mexico. It's dark out here now. Um, as you can see, right here, we're officially entering New Mexico. The other phone is filled, so we gotta use this one. New Mexico. We in New Mexico. Stopped at that rest area right there, bro. That would have been perfect. But yeah. Yeah. We here in New Mexico. Driving down I 40. It's been a beautiful drive thus far. Looking forward to seeing more. We're going to start probably calling one so we can catch it when it's daylight as soon as we can. So you can get more, we can get uh, show you more scenery. Peace. Yeah, so we just entered Arizona. We're riding down I-40, heading west. I recommend a lot of people take this drive. This is so beautiful. Riding down I-40 from New Mexico into Arizona. Beautiful. Also, let me say peace to the gods and goddesses of planet Kai. Peace means the positive energy he always creates elevation. I want y'all to take a look around at all these, what you think are mountains. These are actually tree stumps. So these were huge trees that they chopped down. And it's all along the I-40 west, driving from New Mexico into Arizona. Uh, I'm gonna nickname it, I'm gonna nickname it right now. I'm a new nickname of this drive from New Mexico into California along I-40. It's called Tree Cemetery, because that's all it is. This was a forest, man, and they cut all the trees down and ran a road through it, and you can see the depth. You can even see it in the, in the land. It's these huge holes in craters, showing the craters. It's huge holes, like one right there, and craters even in the ground that come from war. It was wood. So yeah, it's beautiful now, but it was even beautiful back then. Arizona. 
beautiful. Even though they chopped all our trees down, Arizona. These were trees, y'all. They chopped them down. These are tree stumps. We just made it to Vegas, finally our final destination. We actually gonna stop in Cali too, so y'all see that too. But yeah, we finally made it all the way from Atlanta to Vegas. Yay. Took three days, basically. We here, you see, in Las Vegas. We gonna check out a bunch of things, you know. Peace to the gods and goddesses of Planet Kai watching this beautiful views. And you know, it's beautiful and heartbreaking when you know what it is. They didn't cut all our trees down. This was a whole forest. Now they wanna call it a petrified forest, but this used to be a forest. Be a forest is dead now. Yep. So they, they even got something now they call the superstitious mountains, and that's basically, you know, I do a whole lecture on that, but that's the reason all that's happened is because they, they cut these trees down, and these trees are all on the 33rd parallel. You know, they're guarding everything. So you see, they got their they they uh, technology even out here, you know, amongst these old trees, harnessing all the electricity and energy. Of these trees that's, that's, that they still pump. 